Hello and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a light sensor with the Arduino. This means that by the end of this video, you'll be able to get live readings to your Raspberry Pi that show the level of light in the room. You'll also be able to use a serial function in the Arduino integrated development environment and be able to use analog inputs on your Arduino. So, in this tutorial, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi with Raspberry operating system and the Arduino IDE already installed. If you haven't got the Arduino IDE installed, then please watch episode 1 of my Arduino tutorial series. This is episode 2, where I cover this in detail. You're also going to need an Arduino of your choice. I'm using the Arduino Mega here, though this tutorial will work no matter what Arduino board you have, Uno, Nano, whatever. Just make sure that you select the right board in the drop down tools menu, which I'll show you in a minute. You're going to need a photo sensor. This is the most important part. Photo sensor looks similar to this, and I'll show you a close up of that in a minute. Two leads coming out of it, very cheap, about 60p on eBay. You also need three lengths of single core wire. Can be multi core, but I reckon single core or just simple jumper wire. It's the easiest. A 10 kilo ohm resistor, like this. 10 kilo ohm or something quite large, it doesn't particularly matter as long as it's, as I said, fairly large. And a breadboard, just to simplify making circuits. And you're also going to need the USB B cable that you use to upload code to your Arduino. If you have any problems or need any help on anything Raspberry Pi related, then please do not hesitate to comment below or email me at the Raspberry Pi Guy at gmail.com and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. So let's get started. Here is how to wire up your photo sensor. The first thing that we're going to insert into our breadboard is our photo sensor. So your photo sensor should look like this with a wavy diagonal pattern on the top and that's the actual light sensitive part and then two leads coming off of it. I've actually cut my leads slightly. So grab your photo sensor and breadboard, I'm just using a fairly small breadboard and insert it like so with both the leads in different tracks of the breadboard and that's your photo sensor sorted. Then grab your 10 kilo ohm resistor and insert it into one of the leads and a different track of the breadboard. So it should look like this. Both my photo sensor and resistor are now firmly placed into my breadboard. Now, grab one of your pieces of wire, whether you're using jumper wire, single core, wire, whatever, and insert it into the other lead of the photo sensor. So one of the leads of the photo sensor has a piece of wire in, and the other has a resistor. And then grab your Arduino and insert this piece of wire into the plus 5 volts. So you can see my on my Arduino, the Arduino Mega, it's very close to ground and with those near the parts labelled power. So I'm, what I'm going to do is simply grab this piece of wire and insert it into 5 volts. Done. Now, grab another piece of wire, like so and insert it into the same track that your resistor is connected to like this and insert that into one of the ground pins on your Arduino so mine's right next to the 5 volt line just connect it like that and of course it will vary depending on whether you're using the Arduino Nano, Uno or Mega or any of the other many flavors of Arduino and there we are, we have a full circuit. But how is our Arduino actually going to monitor the photo sensor's readings? This is where we need our third piece of wire because we're going to connect it to one of the analog inputs on in our Arduino. Now my Arduino has lots of inputs and the majority of them are digital, which means that they can't handle analog signals. But about 16 of them, all marked with analog in, can. And so I'm going to just connect this wire to analog in zero and connect this side of the wire to the same pin of the photo sensor 
as a resistor. So it, your photo sensor should look like this. And that's all wired up. So this is a simple voltage divider circuit which will allow us to monitor a change in resistance because a photo sensor is a variable resistor. And the change of resistance will be able to get a reading from that. So let's move on to coding. So boot up your Raspberry Pi, log in and set up the desktop environment and open up the Arduino IDE. So this is the program that we're going to be using. As you can see, it's very short, only a few lines long. And uh, I've nicknamed mine Photosensor Read, so make sure you save it as an appropriate file name. And uh, always make sure that you save your file at the start, just in case you you kick the power plug or something and accidentally turn off your Raspberry Pi and lose all your work. So let's just run through this program quickly. First line, int sense pin equals zero, semicolon. Now this is just initializing a variable uh, called sense pin and it's just telling us that sense pin equals pin zero which is the pin that our photo sensor is connected to. Now next part of our program is void setup, a necessary part of any Arduino program and in the squiggly brackets we've got serial dot begin 9600 semicolon. Now serial dot begin just let, allows us to print readings to the screen with a, with a serial connection and the 9600 bit is just how fast we're communicating with the computer 9600 is pretty default speed now once you've closed that with the squiggly brackets we've now got a void loop and this is just a loop so it's going to continually continually um, be on until we turn our Arduino off and it is serial dot print line analog read sense pin so all it's doing is going to print to the serial monitor um, the reading of the sense pin and then delay it by half a second remember Arduino does this in milliseconds and then squiggly brackets and that is essentially the program very easy very simple now make sure your Raspberry Pi is plugged into your Arduino using the USB B cable and then just click upload here mine's already uploaded and you'll notice that there'll be some flashing of on the Arduino but nothing that you'll be able to see and this is where this button here comes in useful. This is the serial monitor, just at the edge of my screen here. I'll, I'll drag the window so you can see it. And you have to click this in order to be able to see the readings from your sense pin. So, I'll drag this down into the box. As you can see, we have lots of readings. So. We're averaging about 784 in just a normal room light. If I put my hand over the sense pin, the photo sensor, you're going to notice it's going to go down. We're down is 500 now. If I put my finger completely over it, 530 odd. And that is my second instalment in my Arduino tutorial series. I hope you enjoyed it. And I said, if you have any problems, comment or email me at the Pi guy at gmail.com. Please let me know if you want me to continue with my Arduino series or if you have any suggestions for any new videos, again, comment or email me. Um, please stay tuned for my next tutorial and uh, there should be some very exciting news that I've just managed to secure something with Tandy that you'll be learning about in the next couple of weeks. So again, happy pieing and I hope everyone has a great weekend.